This is a case study one of the Zero Win project regarding the D4R laptop. The D4R laptop uh, was manufactured by Micropro Computers, and the partners in this case study are the organizations that you see there, or Club University, Gaia, Electronic Cluster, University of Limerick, Boku in Vienna, AUO in Taiwan, University of uh, Berlin, and of course, Micropro. Zero Win had three main goals. One was a 30% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. The other was a 70% reduction in waste. And the third was a 75% reduction in fresh water use. Zero Win Case Study 1 aimed at achieving those three objectives, or at least two of them, on the basis of the design and development of a prototype laptop called the D4R, designed for reuse. It was this laptop, this prototype, that um, aimed at achieving these targets, showing how if it was replicated and mainstreamed, it would have a significant impact on all of them. Another objective of the case study was to identify the barriers to market to such a computer, uh, which, of course, the market was necessary in order to ensure that the impact was of a significant scale. So the identification of market barriers was an important part of the case study. And thirdly, to develop an appropriate and viable industrial network for this computer that would allow both the production, the marketing, and the afterlife activities, uh, which in the case of this computer were upgrading, take back, and reuse. In order to achieve these aims, MicroPro applied a number of cutting edge eco design principles, all aimed at reducing waste, carbon, and energy use. One was the use of low carbon materials, such as bio based materials like wood but also recycled materials, like recycled metals. The use of materials and components that have been previously used, computer parts in good condition, were also used within the design, again, in order to reduce the environmental impact. Importantly, the actual design of the computer was simplified and made accessible so that it was easy to repair upgrade, disassemble, and refurbish the computer, generally making it more reusable, upgradable, and eliminating obsolescence as much as possible, thereby guaranteeing a 10-year life for the computer, two or three times as much as conventional computers. The reliance on used and reused material and the importance of the take-back model gave the computer an unusual industrial network, which went from manufacturers of the material, the first product, which could be metal parts, conventional computers, furniture, and these initial processes provided the secondary products like used metal, used computer parts, offcuts of furniture, or used pallets, which would then be assembled by MicroPro and made into a computer that would be sold to a consumer who at some stage might want to upgrade it or might want to change it for a different model and so would take it back to a collection point where the computer could be taken back and remanufactured or indeed parts where it could be upgraded. So it was a circular, a circular economy pattern. In terms of the achieving of the targets of Zero Win, the D4R computer surpassed the greenhouse gas reduction impact, which was aimed at 30%, it actually achieved a 61% greenhouse gas reduction. And you can see from the chart which were the activities that created this impact, the main one being the use of the bio-based wood chassis, but also the reuse of different parts. The reuse of the screen provided around 13% of the impact. The reuse of the processor the reuse of the memory, and the reuse of other parts. In terms of the reduction of waste, the target here was 70% recycling. 
The D4R achieves a reuse percentage of 62% and a recycling percentage of 89%. So it exceeds the recycling target and it improves on it by having a very large percentage of material and parts that are actually reused. The main one being, again, the wooden chassis, but also the um, screen. The packaging is not reused, but is almost completely recycled. And some other parts like the motherboard, memory and so on, have also a large reuse percentage. This was the only target that the computer failed to meet, the water reduction impact, aiming at 75%. And it achieved a reduction of 55%, which is still significant. The main reason for this is that most of the water in computer production goes into the initial manufacture of parts and components, electronic parts and components, such as the screen, processor, and so on. These are outside of the control of the um, computer manufacturer, Micropro. Nonetheless, some uh, considerable reduction was achieved through the use of reused screens, which actually uh, created a reduction of 20% and the reuse of other parts. The wooden chassis contributed 5% to this impact, uh, but obviously not quite enough to meet the target. The prototype being built and designed um, in order to achieve environmental impact, significant environmental impact, challenge is then to market it. And working with a marketing company, Micropro identified significant barriers like the need to have a brand, a popular brand that people recognize and are likely to buy, the need for the price to be affordable and competitive in relation to other products, and being able to manufacture in a viable way, which requires numbers, significant numbers into the thousand, in order to be able to keep that price uh, affordable. This required the identification of very clear target markets that uh, marketing with uh, limited funding could be directed towards, and then the identification of appropriate marketing tools and instruments. The computer in itself, because of the design principles, the circular production and return principle, requires a cradle-to-cradle -cradle service, which means you need to set up an infrastructure of local agencies that can take the product back and uh, upgrade it and repair it. But also, this can be a static process, continual design improvements are going to be needed as feedback is received. And as part of the project, solutions were applied with a marketing study carried out by case study partners Gaia in uh, the Basque country, looking for a actual concrete expression of demand, mainly through the website, to identify sufficient numbers of people, of consumers, to really justify a launch. And then a marketing campaign, which has been undertaken mainly through the website and is ongoing. Uh, you can see this uh, in the iamico.com website. And then working with different agencies like uh, Gaia in the Basque country, uh, a reuse computer in Berlin, and uh, identifying other companies that can work as a service network, but at the same time continuing R&D and developing the, the design of the computer. Now, part of this marketing study showed that there are specific target groups that are more likely to uh, provide a consumer base for this. These are lojas, that is people with a, a fairly good uh, income level and are quite aware of the issues in the environment that are willing to uh, choose options because they are more environmental um, and because of the long-term benefits of it rather than short-term uh, consumer spin. Green procurement, um, local authorities, pub public companies that would actually be interested in uh, promoting environmental impacts through uh, their purchasing decisions. Other IT companies that might want to apply a similar approach to their um, products, the development of new products, corporate 
responsibility that is companies that actually see uh, the importance of, of making environmental purchases as a way of supporting sustainability goals. Policymakers who would be writing regulations, European programs, and so on that would support this kind of activity. And of course, other IT companies that might want to bring uh, similar products to the market. Uh, in terms of uh, expanding the work of MicroPro and the creation of agencies, we find that electronic clusters um, are the ideal sort of agency and Gaia, our partners, uh, cluster of electronic companies in the Basque Country, Reuse Computer uh, in Berlin being a cluster of refurbishers have provided um, ideal uh, partners for this venture. The advantages of the product are clear and of course it's they're the basis of, of the promotional campaign, the energy savings, the noise reduction, the recyclability and the ease of disassembly and upgrading that are the hallmarks of the eco design of the computer. In terms of promotion, we've been working with Gaia, uh, leading the the marketing uh, studies, but with the support of the Irish Enterprise Ireland Agency and a marketing company employed, thanks to the support, called Motomi, that are responsible for the website and uh, other promotional material. And this is the D4R. It's a beautiful computer, certainly a change from what we've been seeing and achieving tremendous environmental gains. Definitely the first step towards the computer of a cleaner and better quality future. Thank you very much.